Hey, my friends, welcome back. It's Emmy. How's everybody doing today? It is still, it's sunny out, but it's still cold here in the Northeast, and I am ready to put up some spring decor. Now, I know a lot of people um, change decor seasonally, and I do the same thing too, but the way I do it to keep it at a minimal expense and still have the house look festive and reflect the season that we're in is by picking one area of my home that I decorate. The only time I really decorate my whole house is Christmas time. Not my whole house, but down here, the living room and kitchen. Um, but the rest of the year, I do just my mantle. As you can see, it's decorated right now for like Valentine's Day and winter. What I'm going to do now, coming back in, is to switch it up and do a little bit of Easter and a little bit of spring. And I will show you how I do it, how economical it is with these little beauties that I find in thrift stores and even the dollar store. And I keep um, a changing rotation for each season. And then when you come in my house, you'll see this is like a focal point of our living room. If you're sitting on my couch, my settee, or even at the kitchen table, you can look over. And this is the one focal area. Yours may be an end table. Yours may be kitchen counter, a corner. Um, it may be a mantle like I'm doing, whatever it is. Just pick one area, keep it minimal. Remember sometimes less is more. And it just brings a little bit of whatever the time of year is inside our homes. And I love the way it makes me feel. So let's take this one down and put the new one up and I'll show you as we go. We're starting with a clean palette. This mantle is above our wood burning stove. So the dust that accumulates, you have no idea. But that's okay, periodically I take stuff off, especially in the winter and give it a good wiping. So everything is nice and clean now. And what I wanna do is show you how I store my items. It's simple, it's rudimentary, and um, but it works for me. What I do is I do a paper in a plastic bag and I've had this, you can see it's starting to rip, but it's still fine. And every season has decor. And what I will do as time goes on, my taste may change and stuff like that. So if I see something I love that is seasonal in a thrift store or something like that, or a tag sale at a very minimal cost, I will buy it and it will replace something in the bag. So it can never go beyond this little bag right here. Point in case. I just found these two glass pumpkins. They were, if I tell you how heavy they were, are, they were a dollar a piece at my local thrift store. And I love anything to do with pumpkins. I just love pumpkins and gingerbread men. I found these. So what I will do is I had some like plasticky styrofoam pumpkins that I used on the mantle in autumn. I will go up, put these in the bag and give away the other ones. These were just a dollar a piece. They're just beautiful. So anyway, that's what I'm talking about, but I don't just keep adding to the bag. Something's gotta go if something has to come in. It just, it's frugal and it's repurposing, but it's also changing it up, giving me the opportunity to have a different look every once in a while. Okay, going back to the bag. Now, these are some of the items I have. You can never have too much mini. Notice the little uh, bunnies on her dress. And it's just stuff from the dollar store. So what I'm going to do is just take stuff out and decorate. And it'll take a minute. And then we'll look at the finished product. Didn't take long, right, in your eyes. <laughs> but I keep, I go back to the couch and look and come back and forth. But I think I got it the way I like it. Um, 
This is, I have, I have two, two Luminara candles I got on clearance and I love them. They're the same ones that Disney uses in the Haunted Mansion in um, Walt Disney World and they were on super clearance. I don't even remember. It was like some kind of special and they came with a little lantern. So I keep one in my bedroom and one here and this is always, I love this and my husband found this for me for a dollar in the thrift store, didn't you? Yes, At you Goodwill, did. right? Yeah. Okay, and then I have this. This is just a vintage bunny. And then these I just thought were charming. Everything was bought, used, everything. Um, these actually, my little St. Patrick's man and woman were Paul's grandma and grandpa's. And I love them. I just, it gives a little whimsy. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And then my Mickey and Minnie I've had for years. And just a candle. These, these are all from the dollar store. This is from the dollar store. And one thing I want to tell you, and you may not know this, and or maybe you do, always when you um, put any kind of display out, always do it in odd numbers. In other words, this is what I mean. If you look over here, I have one, two, three, four, five large items. One, two, three, four, five little tiny eggs. It, does something. I learned this years ago. And again here, one, two, three, four, five. This is a backdrop, so it really doesn't count. And then one, two, three, four, five. When you do displays of odd numbers, it gives symmetry for it, uh, to it for some reason. I'm not sure why, but somebody taught me this years ago, and it really does work. If you put four things in a row and look at it, and then you put five things in a row, uh, aesthetically, the five always looks better for some reason. So this is just a little frugal way to make your home warm, inviting, without spending a lot of money, and you're not decorating the whole house. It doesn't take days. It doesn't take hours. And you can switch it up, change it, and then pack it up, put it away, and then we're going to go into what's next. Ah, I guess after Easter, we'll do 4th of July. I do an Americana display. So it's just my way of bringing a little fun and whimsy into the house in one area. I hope this was helpful to you. Give it a try. Again, thrift stores, uh, garage sales, any kind of place you can get secondhand items, you're going to find some adorable things. Well, that was fun, and I'm so happy with the way it turned out. Just a simple little touch to bring spring into the house a little bit. Uh, it's still gray and cold, like I said here, but it's okay. We've got a little spring going on. So, the part I'm sure a lot of you have been waiting for. Um, thank you so much. I reached uh, over 300 viewers, subscribers now. And I promised when we did that, that I would be giving away three of these gorgeous fall cakelet plant pans. And um, there's two pumpkins, two leaves, and two acorns. And I have three of them, so three winners will win them. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to my channel, please. And then what I'm going to ask you to do is leave me a comment. And if you could, please share one of my videos on a social media channel that you may have. Whether it be um, Instagram or Facebook, either one. Just grab one of my favorite videos that you enjoy and link it on your page to share with others. And that would be a total blessing for me. And leave me a comment um, and I'll know you want to be entered. If you just want to leave me a comment but you don't want to win one of these beautiful pans, can't understand why you wouldn't. But if you don't, then just leave me a comment and say thank you, but not interested. And that's fine. Um, and they will be yours. I'm going to pick the winner. You can leave a comment anytime between now and March 1st. And I will tell you who the, vi uh, the winner is on March 2nd. So put your name in and... Um, I hope you win. <laughs> Thank you so much again for getting me over 300 subscribers and for all the watch time you've been giving me. 
Um, it means the world to me. I love doing this channel and I hope it blesses you as much as it blesses me. Thank you. You know I love you. Leave me a comment on any video, like I said, between now and March 2nd to enter. Talk to you soon. I wish you blessings. You know I love you. Till my next video. Bye-bye.